Welcome to all the brothers and sisters in the world. I'm brother RJ and I have sister M beside me here. Shalom brothers and sisters. So brothers and sisters, this is now part 9 of the series that I'm doing and it's on there are only two seeds, the woman's seed and the devil's seed. And there are only two ways we can go, brothers and sisters. So, going back to where we finished at the end of part eight, uh, we were looking at the book of Daniel. Now, brothers and sisters, as I already said in the previous video, that unlocking the book of Daniel is key. It is absolutely key to all of us today. And if, brothers and sisters, that we do manage to unlock it, what's being said, you then can prepare for the judgment day to come. And it's not wrong to say that the opposition to us in this world, which is the devil's seed, the Nephilim, the hybrids that have come from them, they, I can, I, I can, I can only imagine that they would not have been wanting people to unlock what is going to be unlocked in this video, brothers and sisters, because with the knowledge and the understanding that comes from Daniel, it means that for everybody in the world today, we can be in Christ, we can have the understanding, and we know what we have to do. And yes, we have understanding from the New Testament, uh, when the Word was made flesh and Christ was amongst us, we get complete understanding from what Christ said to us, the, the Gospel of the Kingdom, which, brothers and sisters, if you had been following the, all the videos that I've done, you'll have been given understanding of the gospel of the kingdom, which we need today to endure to the end. But what we're going to see in this video is something absolutely wonderful. Because Daniel... Uh, fasted for 21 days, Daniel made supplication for uh, the children of Israel. He made supplication for Jerusalem, uh, as in not to get destroyed. We, brothers and sisters, also know that 
what Daniel did was what we could also do, brothers and sisters. Now, none of us, brothers and sisters, are above the Father. There's nobody in this earth that's above the Father. The Father, our Father, uses whoever he wants to achieve whatever he wants. That, brothers and sisters, is absolute. But what we see, or what should I say Daniel saw, he saw what was going to happen in the future, and he didn't like the look of it. It was horrific what he was seeing. So he made supplication to the Father to potentially not to have things go down the way they were going to go down. Now, where have we seen this before, brothers and sisters? Moses, from the Old Testament, he did exactly the same. The children of Israel were going to be destroyed completely. The Moses made supplication and Moses' supplication was heard. So, as we're about to embark on these scriptures, brothers and sisters, I just want to have you think about this for a minute, that the Father knows that the beginning and the end are poof, are together. You know, they that from the start to the end, it's like a blink of an eye because there's no concept of time in the heavenly realm. Down here, we are living a timeline. Time was created down here. We are living a timeline. So, our Father, because we've been living a timeline down here, Daniel, when he did this fast, think about it for a minute, brothers and sisters, when he did this fast, it was like we who embarked on this fast today, it was as if we were doing the fast together in the Father's eyes. Because everything went, woof, happened in the blink of an eye to the Father. So, in a way, it was almost as if we were doing the fast with Daniel. And I want brothers and sisters to take that in and think about that because we can make supplication to the Father if two agree, two, just two, agree in anything in this world, the Father can give it, brothers and sisters. So, I want you to bear that in mind as we go through these scriptures. Okay, so without further ado, Sister M, if you could start and before Sister M starts, I just want to point out that um, we had finished, well, we were at chapter 9 and 
we were going to carry on from verse 24, but I'm going to start this video uh, with verse 21. So it's uh, chapter 9 of Daniel, verse 21. Sister M, please. Yeah, whilst I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation, and he informed me and, and talked with me and said, O Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. Okay, brothers and sisters, so Daniel here is being informed that, you know, while he was doing this prayer, uh, you know, he, he basically was being given uh, what he asked for. You know, and I'll say that again, brothers and sisters, he, because he was much favoured by the Father, his supplication that he put forth had been accepted by the Father. So, even when he was doing his prayer, the supplication, uh had already been put forth. So, yeah, so at the beginning of thy supplication, the commandment came forth, and I am come to show thee, for thou art greatly beloved, therefore understand the matter, and consider the vision. Now, Brothers and sisters, we, the sisters in Christ, a particular sister in Christ that had got from the Father to do this fast. Why? Because it was to do exactly what Daniel did. To make supplication for the people of this world. And that's exactly, brothers and sisters, what we have done. So, you know, it's all praises to the Most High that this sister in Christ has got this to do by the Father as Daniel had done and what brothers and sisters are we looking at here now what did Daniel do what would da what what is Daniel getting brothers and sisters and what are we in Christ brothers and sisters hoping to achieve get everybody into Christ get everybody into Christ with the understanding been baptised into Christ, pray to the Father to bring the Saviour back to save us from the judgment to come. And, brothers and sisters, if we do that, verse 24, Sister M, please. 70 weeks are determined 
upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. Brothers and sisters, Brothers and sisters, do you not want this? Do you, brothers and sisters, this is what we want. We have showed already, brothers and sisters, that through disobedience, of the people in this world through complete and utter sin that is running riot in this world that the Father tells us that before Christ comes back it's going to be the same conditions as it was before the flood Brothers and sisters, we, every single one of us, can turn this around. We can turn this around to the other direction. We can all do this together. <coughs> so, Instead of people not knowing about Belial, not knowing about the fallen ones, not knowing what their plans were, not knowing that we could all be in Christ and, and praying to the Father to bring the Saviour back. If you were not knowing that, brothers and sisters, then the wicked ones, Belia and all the rest of it, could be coming out, they could be killing, beheading people, getting people to make the mark of the beast, and brothers and sisters, they would be doing exactly what the Father wants them to do. That is, if we don't know. But brothers and sisters, you do know. You know now. You have been given the understanding of the beast coming out. Initiating the mark of the beast. Destroying wonderfully. And it was all ordained by the Father to do this. Why? Because we have come away from the Father and our Saviour. To do the laws, the statutes, the commandments. And have the understanding of Christ, the testimony of Christ, the gospel of the kingdom. Because through all of that, brothers and sisters, we can turn all that around and go after the covenant. Ask our Father to take away their dominion completely. Because, why? Why, brothers and sisters? Because we are all in Christ with the understanding and being baptised for remission of sins. That's how we can get this done, brothers and sisters. But only 
if we all work together to achieve it. Okay, carry on, Sister M. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jer Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the Prince, shall be seven weeks and three score and two weeks. The street shall be built again and the wall, even in troublesome times. So, telling us about, you know, the period of the rebuilding of Jerusalem. Carry on, Sister M. And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself, and the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined. Okay, so brothers and sisters, we know that at the very end, at the very end, brothers and sisters, we know that our Saviour was going to make war with the ones that were going to come against him. You know, the ones that the Father had actually brought, you know, I was bringing, the ones that the Father was actually bringing so that there could be that big battle at the very end, at the very end, brothers and sisters. But you know, if you really, really look at it, brothers and sisters, we, we want to obviously foreclose in all, all what we have in this world and we don't want what's in this world, brothers and sisters. We want to foreclose on it early. And do you know, the Saviour and the Father wants exactly the same. Because you will see, and you know, there is a scripture that we will use to show that the Father through our Saviour, wants to foreclose everything earlier because he does not want the Father and the Saviour don't want people getting destroyed in a large scale. And that we know people getting destroyed in a large scale was to do with our disobedience and sin being so rife on this world. But we can stop that. We can turn that completely around. Brothers and sisters. Carry on, Sister M. In the third, third year... Oh, it's uh, verse 27... Yeah, yeah, sister. Verse 27? Yeah, just... verse 27, yeah. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, to cease, and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Okay, so, brothers and sisters, we all want to have a new start. We all want to have a new start. You know, when you look at back to biblical times, a covenant was was made to Abraham and then subsequently to Isaac, Jacob, the Israel, you know, the children of Israel. 
the covenant was established back then when our Saviour Christ came in the flesh the covenant the new covenant was carried on so you had it in the Old Testament Christ carried it on in the New Testament and through that he as I say he added the gospel of the kingdom because that part of it was crucial to today it was crucial for the people of today that could endure to the end the ones back then were going to die potentially die in Christ and they were going to get raised back up into Christ from the dirt but for us today the part of the covenant that's the gospel of the kingdom i.e. the kingdom to come that part brothers and sisters was the crucial element that each and every one of us needed and needed to understand so that we could endure to the end having the father's protection we could endure to the end and be praying to the father to bring our saviour back because we have watchfulness in our hearts and you know we are asking the father to send the back the saviour back to save us from the judgment to come and to you know give the people of today the promise the promise that has always been it's always been there initially for the children of Israel but then all nations were blessed through the loins of Abraham and therefore because all nations were blessed all nations are entitled to the promise they have been drafted in brothers and sisters and they are entitled to the promise so it's not taking away from the fact that the children of Israel Israel was that chosen nation of the father that's the nation that the 144,000 the elect will come from and these elect that and I will say this to all the brothers and sisters of the world if you are Israel you could be an elect an actual chosen elect but you know you have to perform what you're supposed to perform and that is giving people the understanding of Christ so yes there are an elect as we have established but we don't just want the elect to make it at the very end we want everyone to be there at the very end we want everyone to be there because the covenant the promise brothers and sisters is open to everyone of the woman's seed and as we have already established brothers and sisters who's the woman's seed it's everyone it's all nations all nations is the woman's seed so we, as I say we need to all come together as one in Christ all 
come together. Okay, carry on, Sister M. Um, so, sorry, before you carry on, Sister M, so, as we can see, we can ask our Father. We can ask our Father. Okay, so, if you could go on to Daniel chapter 10, and it's verse 1 to 3, Sister M, please. In the third, third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Belteshazzar, and the thing was true, but the time appointed was long, and he understood the thing, and had understanding of the vision. Okay, so, in the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Belteshazzar. And the thing was true, absolutely true, brothers and sisters. The time appointed, that appointed time, when you're appointed to something, brothers and sisters, you've to be there, an appointed time. But the time appointed was long. And he understood the thing and had understanding of the vision. So, brothers and sisters, me, Sister M, and all the brothers and sisters out there have understanding of this vision. And through the understanding of this vision, in the set period to put an end to sins, we can, brothers and sisters, get this done. And I want to point out to all the brothers and sisters that, you know, this supplication was made by us towards the end of last year. And we're going to see, brothers and sisters, that end time prophecy and the understanding that you're going to get from the end time prophecy from the book of Daniel is going to be absolute. And it will help you to decide completely what way, brothers and sisters, you really want to go. Okay, so carry on, Sister M. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth, neither did I, neither did I anoint myself at all, till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Okay, so Daniel saw the vision, he made supplication for the people, He made supplication for the people. The father heard his supplication, brothers and sisters. That's what we've read. Seventy weeks to put an end to sins. Seventy weeks, brothers and sisters. 
were determined to put an end to sins and make reconciliation for iniquity and bring everlasting righteousness. And when we achieve that, brothers and sisters, because it can be achieved, the vision will be sealed up along with this prophecy. And the most holy brothers and sisters will, will be anointed. So, you know, so after this vision, the Daniel uh, done the three weeks fast. So he made the supplication. He was told what was going to happen. And obviously his supplication was accepted and he fasted for three full weeks which brothers and sisters is exactly what we did we did the Daniel fast to make supplication for the people of this world including ourselves as well ok carry on sister M Daniel 12 And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was, since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Now, brothers and sisters... Chapter 12 of the book of Daniel. This chapter, brothers and sisters, is so deep. It's so, so deep that it unlocks, brothers and sisters, what is happening today. It unlocks, brothers and sisters, what exactly is going to happen today. As we speak to you, brothers and sisters, we are right there. We are at this period, brothers and sisters. We are. We are right there. If we understand this chapter 12, we have the prophecy of the end time. And... We, brothers and sisters, are right there. Because Christ's dominion is on this earth. Why? Because the testimony of Christ, the understanding of Christ, the gospel of the pink, or gospel of the kingdom is out into the world where it should be giving people the understanding of what they should be doing at these end times brothers and sisters 
Daniel 12 and 1. At that time, Michael shall stand up. The archangel, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. We all, brothers and sisters, are the remnant in this world. We are the ones that are left in this world at this juncture in time. And we need all to come together as one in Christ. You know, brothers and sisters, we have shown in the last video that the Nephilim, the hybrids that have come from them, they are being subdued. We've asked for them to be subdued. You know, there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. So, brothers and sisters, the devil's seed is being contained at the moment. Do we want it, brothers and sisters, to be contained permanently? Yes. How can we do it for everybody to be in Christ? So, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. Even to that same time. Judgment Day. We know, brothers and sisters, that there was a set Judgment Day that was decreed from the very beginning. I have showed that there is a set Judgment Day. It is as clear as day. I have given it. I have given understanding of it. Never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, brothers and sisters, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Wow. Wow. And at that time, brothers and sisters, you know what time that is, brothers and sisters, that what thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the the book. Wow. Wow. Look at it. It's as clear as day, brothers and sisters. We know where we're heading. Let's all head there together. Brothers and sisters, it's not their dominion. The devil's seed. It's not their dominion. They have been allowed to do it because, because all of us are so sinful and dealing the flesh, not in the spirit we are dealing 
in the flesh exactly what Satan wants you to be in this world. But we can all come back to Christ, come all back into the spirit, the body and the spirit. The body and the spirit of Christ and therefore have our Father as well. So we can all, we can all, all brothers and sisters, be there together. Now, yes, we would like to be standing in the holy place. I have given you, given you all brothers and sisters that we should be standing in that holy place. I have given you understanding about that in the previous videos. But you know, we're also told through revelations that you could be standing, watching and praying for the Father to bring the Saviour back from all four corners of the world as well. And ye shall be brought to that safe place at the very end. So, yes, there is, as there was back then, brothers and sisters, back in biblical times, when the children of Israel were brought out of Egypt, there was an exodus back then. There is also to be an exodus again today in our time. Come out of her, my people. We, we need to be all together in one accord and going home. We all want to be going home brothers and sisters, to where it all began. Because the promise is there for each and every single one of us. We just have to come out of this world to achieve it. We have to put our foot forward and say, no, I have had enough of this world. I have had enough of being controlled by Nephilim, by hybrids. I want what the Father can give to me. Not what's in this world. Because what's in this world, brothers and sisters, we deal with the spirit of the flesh on a daily basis. The spirit of the flesh, not the out and out spirit, that true spirit of the Father. We deal in the flesh. We deal and we do what Satan wants us to do in this world. We need, brothers and sisters, to come out of that and go after what the Father and the Saviour is offering us, brothers and sisters. The promise that has been offered to us if we come back to them and leave Satan, the devil, behind. And in actual fact, have his dominion crushed to a pulp because we don't want this world anymore. So, brothers and sisters, you have to hate this world and what <coughs> it represents because it's not of the Father and the Saviour. We know what world 
does represent the Father and the Saviour. We need to go back. We need to go back. We need to go after that, brothers and sisters. Carry on, Sister M. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Brothers and sisters, we can get all of this done. There'll be ones that will be coming up from the dust. They'll be coming, they'll be waking to everlasting life. As we see some to everlasting contempt. We, brothers and sisters, all that are living today, want to endure to the end. You want to endure to the end to receive everlasting life to not taste of death brothers and sisters to not taste of death you know we of today brothers and sisters are the only ones are the only ones that can go right through to the very end. But we have to do what the Father wants us to do and our Saviour wants us to do to achieve exactly that. Carry on, Sister M. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firma firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars for ever and ever. Wow, wow. Where have we seen this before, brothers and sisters? The Book of Enoch. I have shown that from the Book of Enoch, we showed through testimony of Christ when we did Part 1 and Part 2 of Testimony of Christ, we showed that the ones of understanding, the ones of understanding, the ones that turn many to righteousness as the stars, they are angels, they are angels forever and ever, brothers and sisters. It tells you here in the book of Daniel as it does. In the book of Enoch, it tells you in the book of Daniel, here as well. We, brothers and sisters, want to be there at the very end. We really do. We really do, brothers and sisters. There is... Of course, a book, the Book of Memorial, that is available, brothers and sisters, to the ones that endure to the very end. That don't taste of death. You know, we are as it tells us in the book of Revelation, the second death, you have no place. The second death has no place. Brothers and sisters, that's because you endure to the end. You don't taste of death. You don't taste of death. And, you know, through this understanding that we have brought, brothers and sisters, you can give this to other people. You can be baptised into Christ and you can have the understanding and pass it on to other people. And you, 
brothers and sisters can be out baptising people and bringing them to Christ. And of course for remission of sins. Putting off that old man and bringing out the new man. That's how, brothers and sisters, we get all of this done. And you want to be one of the ones that turns many to righteousness. As the stars, as the angels. Forever and ever. Carry on, Sister M. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Wow! Wow! Look at that, brothers and sisters. Daniel was to shut up the words and seal the book to the time of the end. Brothers and sisters, we are here. We've arrived. We have understanding. <coughs> so, what do we have to do? Exactly, exactly as Daniel saying here. We need to run to and fro. We need to go from town to town, city to city, people all around the world. Country to country, in each and every country, people running about, getting people into Christ, baptised into Christ with understanding, so that we, we, all brothers and sisters, can be praying to the Father to bring the Saviour back at the same time all over the world and get this done get brothers and sisters what we need to do to get everything done and our father is telling us that we can ask our father for that to be so. Because, brothers and sisters, do you think that the Father and our Saviour wants the beast to come out and destroy and get people to take the mark of the beast and for people to be damned already so that when Christ comes back all these people that have the mark of the beast will be heading to the lake of fire. Do you really, really think that the Father wants that to happen? I don't think so. The Father doesn't want it. Our Saviour doesn't want it. And brothers and sisters, every single one of you out there should not want that either. So, let's not, brothers and sisters, have that happen. We can all avoid that. We can all do what Daniel's telling us here. We can run to and fro and get the job done. Giving knowledge and understanding of what? Of what, brothers and sisters? The gospel of the kingdom to come. Understanding of Christ. End time prophecy. Carry on, Sister M. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood other two, the one on this side of the bank of the river, and the other on that side of the bank of the river. Two <laughs> stood, brothers and sisters, one on this side of the bank, and one on the other side of the bank. 
carry on, Sister M. But my notches, I think I've jumped down. And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? Okay. So, how long shall it be to the end of these wonders? Question mark. How long shall it be, brothers and sisters? Verse 7. And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven. Brothers and sisters, the man clothed in linen, which was upon the river, he held up his right hand and held up his left hand unto heaven. Carry on, Sister M. And swear by him that liveth for ever that it shall be for a time, times and a half, and when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. Brothers and sisters, it shall be, it shall be, brothers and sisters, that this man will swear by him that liveth forever. And brothers and sisters, it shall be, it shall be for a time, times, and a half when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people then brothers and sisters all these things shall be finished for a time for a time times and a half. It will be, brothers and sisters, it will be for a time when all the people of this world are in Christ. All the people in the world, sister, and brothers, let's have all the people in the world in Christ, having the understanding of Christ, calling on the Father to bring the Saviour back to save us from the judgment to come. And brothers and sisters, all these things shall be finished. In other words, it shall be done. It shall be done. Verse 8, brother, eight, verse eight Sister M. And I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O my power, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the end of the time. Oh no, sorry, till the, e till the time of the end. Mm, yeah, okay, so, so Daniel heard and he understand, he, he did not understand. So, like, oh my Father, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. 
Well, brothers and sisters, we are at that time. We are absolutely at the time of the end. We are at that period. Absolutely at that period. And if you go on to the next verse, yep. Sister M, please. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Okay, brothers and sisters, we of this world are at a crossroads. What, brothers and sisters, do you really want to have happen in this world right now? What do you really want to have happened in this world right now? Two ways. There's two ways. Two ways, brothers and sisters. Two ways. Do you want to go with Satan? Do you want to go with the devil in this world? Do you want what he's offering you in this world? Do you really want that? Is that what you want? Is that really what you want? Do you want to carry on doing wickedly in this world? Do you really? Because the wicked shall not understand and they will carry on doing wickedly right to the very end but they shall not make it into the kingdom the wicked shall not brothers and sisters do you want to be in the pocket of Satan do you want to be in the pocket of the devil who's controlling you in this world or or do you want to choose the other way? Do you want to come back to Christ? Do you want the understanding of Christ? Do you want to be baptised into Christ? Carry on in the doctrine? Have remission of sins? Have that Gospel of the Kingdom that's going to initiate, it's going to mean that you can go right to the very end. You can endure to the end, get the protection from the Father. As I say, ask the Father to bring the Saviour back, to save you from the judgment to come, and you shall be purified and made white and tried. That, brothers and sisters, that is the way we all want to go. Let's all brothers and sisters, choose that way, not, not the other way. Carry on, Sister M. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Okay. So, three and a half years, brothers and sisters, 
from the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that maketh desolate set up. Now, brothers and sisters, this relates also to the timeline that effectively we've been given for a certain Mr. Belaya that we read about in the Pseudographia that he's going to come out and he's going to cause havoc to the world. This beast that is doing the bidding of Satan, doing the bidding of the devil, he is going to glorify himself, you know, even make him, excuse me, even make him out, out, make even make himself out to be the beloved, you know, get people to take the mark of the beast, get people beheaded, get, you know, cause havoc, and also, brothers and sisters, go after the saints as well. We've seen, when we read about this in the Pseudopagraphia, that, you know, this is going to happen. Is it going to happen, no, brothers and sisters? Is it? Well, we don't want things to go down that way. We really don't. You know? We don't want things to get so bad in this world. You know, daily bread been taken away. This this thing causing absolute havoc. And, you know, the abomination that maketh desolate set up. The pushing towards... Israel that's going to happen at the end. We do know from the scriptures that, you know, so much of Jerusalem is going to get destroyed. So much of that area was going to get destroyed. We read that from the Old Testament. You go into the, the prophets in the Old Testament you will be able to see this. Do we, re, do we, brothers and sisters, really want this to go down this way? Do we really? We've read about it. I've showed you what's going to happen. But I want you to look at this scripture brothers and sisters, because I do believe it's talking to us about code in the Bible too. You don't think, brothers and sisters, that the Father knows what time we are in, in this world right now? Of course he does. I want you to see here it says, from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that maketh desolate set up. And the abomination that maketh desolate set up. There shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. That's the period of time, brothers and sisters, the period of days, which is over three and a half years, effectively. But if you take the one, two, nine, zero, brothers and sisters, one, two, nine, zero. You can also, brothers and sisters, 
get a year from that by just bringing down the digits 1, 2, 9, 0. You bring down the 2, you bring down the 0, you bring down the 1, and you bring down the 9 without moving the digits. And what year do you get, brothers and sisters? 2019. Now, I'm not saying absolutely this is sacrosanct. What I am saying is that through baptism and the Holy Spirit working within me, I was told to look at this. And I do believe what we're seeing here, brothers and sisters, is that we are right at the end of days. And, you know, the, the beast, the beast that's coming out, going by this, was supposed to be this year, brothers and sisters. You know, he's already been infiltrating even before this period. We have shown that Belair was an interchangeable angel, so he's already been been manipulating people and everybody in this world for a very, very long time. And he's been doing it under the authority of the serpent, of the devil himself. They all tend to take their instructions through that beast in itself, you know. So, brothers and sisters, we know that testimony of Christ, the understanding of Christ, has to get out to the world. We, we have done that, we have shown in the previous videos what that is, what we all need and what we all need to do as the disciples did, so have we to do in this day and age. So, we can get everything done, brothers and sisters. We can get everybody in Christ. And we will show later on, brothers and sisters, that you know, the Nephilim and the hybrids have been kept at bay. They have been kept at bay, brothers and sisters, by the Father to prophecy comes out. End time prophecy. The testimony of Christ. But we do know that he can still come out, brothers and sisters. He can co still come out later on because we know he goes after the saints. But is that going to happen? Do we want, brothers and sisters, for that to happen? Can we avoid that to happen? Of course we can. 
Because we have the understanding. We have what we need to for the the beast not to be coming out at all to cause havoc because we can get everything done before that before it needs to go down this way brothers and sisters okay so let's all come together brothers and sisters to get this done let's choose the right way not the wrong way let's choose the right way all of us together as one in Christ carry on sister M blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. But go thou, thou, go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. Okay, so brothers and sisters, there's 45 days of a difference between a 2,290 and a 1,305 and 35. So, we, brothers and sisters, know that the beast could come out, he could be doing exactly what he wants, the abomination that maketh desolate, set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty five days. One thousand three hundred and thirty five. So, brothers and sisters, we know that, you know, it does tell us about what's going to happen at the very end with Israel. We don't, brothers and sisters, want things to go that far. We have made supplication for all of this not to go down. We hope that it doesn't, you know. If it does, you know, you've got a 45 day period here, you know, to be, you know, trying to get yourself sorted out and get to where um you should you should be going um but you know but go thy way till the end be for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days so stand in thy allotted place brothers and sisters at the end of days so this time period that we see brothers and sisters the first time period you see there 1290 from the pseudographia we showed Deliah coming out doing what he was going to do and then come the 1305 and 35 days it is complete it's all going to be done. And as we saw in the Pseudographia, that Beliah and his host, you know, as we see actually in the book of Revelations, it talks about the false prophet. So that's Beliah uh, and the false prophet and his host, and his minions, all of his minions, you know, all of these hybrids, these, these Nephilim, uh, these Nephilim hybrid ancestors, the, his host, as it tells us in the 
to the graphia. They will be heading. Where will they be heading to, brothers and sisters? They will be heading to the lake of fire. That's where they will be heading to, brothers and sisters. The lake of fire. We, brothers and sisters, the woman seed, the ones that have understanding, that endure to the end, that will be standing in that allotted place at the end of days to call in the Father, to bring the Saviour back, to save them from the judgment to come, they will be with Christ. They, brothers and sisters, will be with Christ. And that, brothers and sisters, is exactly what we all want to have happen. Not just for myself and Sister M, not just for the sisters in Christ that we have at the moment, but for every single one of you out there in the world. We, brothers and sisters, have to do one thing. We have to take that leap of faith and go with this understanding and let us all brothers and sisters get this job done be the servants to the Father and our Saviour that we need to be to have works in Christ and be there for our Saviour at the very end so that when he comes back, we're all watching and praying together and our Saviour will be so happy for, you know, for the fact that we, we have gathered together for him. Because we love our Father and we love our Saviour and we want to be with them. Not with the devil in this world. So brothers and sisters, at that point... We're going to stop there. This, brothers and sisters, this, brothers and sisters, is going to be the end of part nine. We will come back with part ten in due course. If anybody wants to get in touch, I'm Brother Ronnie from Scotland. My number is 07513-774-796. If you want to get in touch by email, please, by all means, drop me a line, drop me an email, 
The address is understandingofchrist at gmail.com And any emails that you send me, brothers and sisters, I will, I will respond to. Uh, you know, if you're wanting requests to be baptised, you can do it that way. You can do it through the phone number, leaving message on the phone number. You know, whatever way you want to do it. Yeah. We, you can also get in touch with us through our Facebook group, which is Come Find Out the True Understanding. You know, if you want to join that, request, request us to have you joined in to our Facebook group, you know, and we we will do. Um, so, brothers and sisters, if you want to be baptised, uh, you know, I will do. As I have shown in previous videos, that being baptised in to Christ for remission of sins is crucial. You have to be baptised, brothers and sisters. Full immersion baptism in to Christ. That's what you need. That is what you need to help you to endure to the end, to get into the kingdom to come. Okay? So, so that's us for this video, brothers and sisters. I will look forward to having your company for part 10 to come. All that remains is for me to say bye for now brothers and sisters. Bye for now brothers and sisters. O oh, daughters of Zion, O oh, Abraham's sons, hear the words of your father, hear his promise of love. I will make you a blessing, so count the stars if you can. You will be a great nation I will give you this land I will bring you back home I'll bring you back home, oh my children You will no longer roam Lost and alone in the There is nothing on earth that could take you away Once I gather you under my wings I will bring you all back home again Though you've wandered like strangers To the ends of the earth I will send you a savior I will 
But don't fear, oh my daughters Or sons of Abraham For I will wash you with water or I will offer the lamb Though your sins were like scarlet 